Hi, this is Sean from NopAdmin. In NopAdmin 2.30, we added multi-language product editing and uh, as well as product import. Now, this is really big for us because we've had a lot of people, um, particularly in the European market, that have um, products in different languages, right? So they have maybe have several different languages configured in one NopCommerce store. And in the past, the only way that you could um, import your your data, your product data, um, using NOP Admin, it would only affect the first product and you had no way to go in and edit your other languages um, for, uh, you know, for your products. So what we did is we added the multi-language capability. You can now edit directly, which I just did a video on. And now I want to show you how you can import your, um, your product data uh, at least the the language elements that you can change and I'll, I'll go over that in a minute um, using nothing more than Excel and NOP admin so this is just a tremendously powerful tool for multi-language NOP commerce stores so let's go ahead and get started um, I just have a general screen up here and just to review you can edit your um, your languages here in uh, NOP admin just by using this drop down And uh, and then just typing, you know, the whatever in whatever language you're in, Spanish in this case, you, know, you type your Spanish name and Spanish description, and then hit save. And uh, same thing for the variant name and variant description. So let's go ahead and import because we have, let's say, we have a lot of products. Now, what I'm going to do, this is all set up by SKU. This is very important. You need to have a SKU for every um, product because that's how your import is going to know which product you're talking about right so you gotta make sure you have that set up um, what I'm gonna do is I have a just a test product called a, the diamond tennis bracelet it's, it's one that I I use quite a bit and I'm just gonna go ahead and assign this a skew of one in the English language now you notice when I flip to my primary, which is the English language in this, and the only reason the English language is the primary is because in my not commerce admin under languages, flip it back to something I can read. Whatever language you have first here, for your display order, that's your primary. Okay, so that's where all your, your product data is going to be stored. Like, uh, for instance, SKU. So I'm going to call this, probably not surprisingly, SKU1. Alright, and I just want to make sure that I have a SKU2 in here. I do. And I want to make sure that I have a SKU 3. Okay, good. So I have SKU 1, SKU 2, and SKU 3. And I have languages English, French, and Spanish. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go to Excel Operations. We're going to import multi language products. Now, Excel spreadsheet to browse for. Well, I don't really have anything. Um, so let's do, let's take a look at the template. Okay. Um, so this gives me just a real rough idea. And let's go ahead and save this. We can work with this. So I'm going to go file, save as. overlay another version that was there. Okay, good. Alright, um, so basically we have a Boolean flag, it looks like. It's a drop-down, you have to select either true or false. Okay. A language ID, what is this? Well, basically this is the number of the language 
that you want all this information to be assigned to, right? So how do you know what language number it is? Well, flip back to your NopCommerce admin. And one way you can tell is just by an edit. And I usually just look up here. This is always going to be your key. So there's your one. Here's your key one or ID one. French. This is your number two. That's the ID two. In Spanish. There's your ID three. Okay. So that's a very easy way you can tell your language IDs. So we're going to flip back to Excel. And it looks like we already have a language 2, which was all our French. There's some other SKUs in here that I'm just going to get rid of. And as an example, I'm going to leave this in here so you can see what it does. SKU 111, which we don't have. And then there's a note the SKU should not be found and uh, language number four which we don't have so I'm going to show you what happens. Our SKUs are all SKU 1, 2, and 3 for language ID 2 which was our French language and then we also have um, SKUs 1, 2, and 3 for our Spanish and uh, there's just some you know just a real sample real basic sample data in here but basically the only elements that you can modify in your languages are a product name, right? Product description, product full description, the meta keywords, the meta description, meta tag, search engine name. Those are all on the product level in the product database. And then you have your variant name and your variant description, which all are in your uh, uh, product variant table. So um, we can we can just run with this you, to, to do the demo and you'll see exactly what it does. So I'm just going to save this. Okay, so basically it's going to put all product name, all product description, all, you know, keywords, description, title, blah, 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 on down the line for language ID 2, which is our French, SKU 1, which is that diamond tennis bracelet product. So let's go ahead and save this again. And golden rule, whenever you import, make sure you exit first. Close out of it. And flip back to not admin. Go to Excel operations, import. We were already there. And just browse for your language import file. And do a preview. You should see data show up, hopefully the right stuff. And that all looks like our spreadsheet, resembles it, right? So I always leave this this uh, run test validation checked the first time, always. And I get a whole bunch of stuff here. Basically what it's telling me is, um, it treats each one of these fields as its own update. So it's telling me um, for language ID 2, for example, in this one, SKU 1, this key name, or this this key name would have been um, updated with all product name and all product description and on down the line. So that all looks good. Now it's this stuff. The SKU you entered, here's a warning about the SKU 111 that wasn't found in the Commerce Store. And then here's a warning about the language ID 4 that we don't have. So it's telling us, hey, I can't find these. You need to look into it. So the thing to do is just look down here and see if the, you get any error messages that look odd, you know, that don't say would have been added. And we have a couple, and I'm not going to worry about it just because this is a demo. So that looks good. Now let's go ahead and uncheck that and run it for real. 
Now again, it's treating each one of these fields, or each one of those cells, as its own update. And it's telling us exactly what happens with each one. So it looks like local locale value um, was added, language ID, you know, and then it tells us the, the, the name of the field that it updated as well as what it put in there. So that all looks good. So let's do, go take a look at it in Knob Commerce. All right. So here is our SKU-1, and we're going to look at it in English first. Okay, there's our English language. Go look at it in French. Okay, now notice this doesn't match my French name, French short description. That's because I used this same product in the other product editing video and it's actually pulling old information. So what I need to do, and this this is something um, you know you need to get in the habit of as well. If you run something in NOP admin and you flip back to NOP commerce and it doesn't look like it took, um, you may have the cache values on for NOP commerce to keep the cache. And uh, what you need to do is just log into your admin and then go clear cache. And what that's going to do is going to tell this page the next time it pulls is not to pull from cache and go get the real database values. So let's do a reload. And there we go. There's our data. Um, all product name, all product description, all product full description, all variant description, all this stuff. Right? This all came from um, this all came from our sheet, our demo sheet. There it is. Right? Okay now. Now we have SKU one also, and we have language ID three which is the French. So we should see S1, FR, FR, F2, S2, FR, S3, FR, um, and so on. So let's go back to Knob Commerce. Yeah, I said that wrong. Actually, my, um, I, I just had the, the I thought it was French, but it's actually showing up in Spanish, and that's just because I had I, I I read it wrong. But anyway, you get the idea, All right? So there's our languages for this product. Now we also did some stuff for SKU two, right? And those were gift. Those were gift things. If I remember right, let's just go take a look. All right, so SKU 2 is the $25, SKU 3 is the 50 Okay. Let's go take a look at our gift cards. Ah, there we go. There's our Z1. And there's the other stuff that we imported from the database. Right? So, um, that, uh, that's, that's basically it. I mean, the Excel file is not that difficult. Um, it's uh, actually pretty simple. Just to review, you basically have a Boolean flag. You always just need to select these. Okay, um, your language IDs. I showed you how to get those values from your Not Commerce administration. You always have to have a SKU. It has to be valid for it to work. Um, if it's an invalid SKU or an invalid language ID, it's going to throw an error, 
and then basically these are just the values that you can update make your translations and put them in each one of these fields and uh, and do your import so um, that uh, is, is a very very powerful tool so um, with this not bad men you now now have the complete ability to edit individual products in any number of languages that you set up in your not commerce store they will be automatically reflected in your not commerce store uh, your changes will be and if you have a lot of products then the best thing to do is just simply download the um, Excel template and make your changes um, you know set them up by SKU and by language ID and then uh, set up your translation for each of the fields and you should be good to go so this is hopefully a one-stop shop using NOP admin and Excel to take care of your multi-language NOP commerce stores so again my name is Sean with uh, NOP admin um, thanks so much for your time we really encourage you to download a free version of NOP admin and just try it out and uh, whether you pay for it or not um, we're st we'll st still be here to help so uh, you know if you have questions you're running into trouble or whatever by all means um, send send an email to support at nopadmin.com if you're trying to import and you got issues um, send me your spreadsheet you know be glad to take a look at it and try to help so um, again thanks so much for your time we really appreciate each and every one of you thanks